G'day, Adam VK4GHZ. Today we're going to take a look at an unboxing of a 10 GHz power amplifier from Philip DL2AM in Germany. So let's check it out. It takes about two and a bit weeks to arrive from Germany. Foam padding, the bottle wrap type stuff. The amplifier in a anesthetic bag. Philips QSL cut. This is a list of items that Philip has for sale, all sorts of parts. Here we have the board overlay and the schematic. Looks like we have four lots of uh, nuts and bolts for mounting. Let's take a uh, closer look at the amplifier itself. So that's it there. Now this is nominally a 10 watt amplifier. Philip does indicate that saturated output is 10.5 watts. It requires 125 milliwatts of drive. So for use with a Kuhn module, which nominally puts out 250 milliwatts, we'd have to pad that back. Uh, the monitor voltage out here draws uh, 4.4 amps of current. It's nominally uh, 12 to 15 volts DC. It's actually um, quite a small thing just to uh, put a ruler across it. You can see the length of just the enclosure itself, which is a beautifully milled aluminium box. Germans certainly know how to, uh, to do this thing very well. It's uh, 86 millimeters across the length and width it's, uh, it's about 54 and a half millimeters. There's a good old 20 cent piece, so that gives you an idea of the size. As is common with all this microwave stuff, the input uh, connector is an SMA and we've got a feed through for the uh, 12 to 15 volt DC input. Looking at the output, SMA connector again for the RF and a feed through for the monitor volts. Now as much as I'd love to show you the inside of this thing, and I'm kind of busting to see the inside of it myself, that's not going to happen. Philip has got some red gunk here across one of the screws to indicate whether it's been opened or not. Uh, the next step here would be to look after the heat sinking. These do need heat sinking. Uh, I've got some a slab of copper here. It's quite heavy stuff copper. So the idea is to mill both faces of that so that they're perfectly straight along with milling this uh, heat sink surface. You basically bolt them together like that. The option would be then to add a muffin fan if you need to pull the heat out of it. But I think that would be more than adequate. Now if you're driving one of these things with a Kuhn G3 10 gig module, they put out 250 milliwatts, this, which is 24 dBm. This only requires half of that, 125 milliwatts, so 3 dB down, it only requires 21 dBm of drive. And it's really easy to pad it down by 3 dB, jump onto eBay and look for these SMA attenuators. This is a, a 3 dB um, attenuator good up to 18 gigahertz. It's generally cheaper to, uh, to buy a number of them from the one seller if you can, just to average out the freight costs. So, real easy. That would of course just screw in line to the input like that. So you could feed your Kuhn module straight into that. Uh, Philip has got uh, a number of amplifiers available he can construct for you. Sometimes he has them ex-stock sitting there ready to go. First place you should go is his website, dl2am.de. See what he's got and uh, give uh, Philip a, a buzz via email. So there you go, that's the DL2AM 10 watt 10 gigahertz amplifier.